My name is Patrick Foley, and this is my review of One For All, the DJ Chris Veer story for UK Film Review. This film is a documentary uh, that's a feature length film focusing on the life and career of DJ Chris Veer. Uh, Veer is a softly spoken, uh, humble, normal, everyman, uh, family man guy who just happens to have uh, a very sort of unpredictable career as a DJ, uh, as one of the sort of top DJs in the US, with an overall ambition uh, to represent the United States at the DJ and World Championships. The film features a mixture of talking head interviews with Veer himself, uh, as well as his friends and his family, uh, along with archival footage of Veer DJing both as a child, as a sort of child prodigy, as a young man and also into adulthood as his career takes off and he plays uh, bigger and bigger venues for bigger and bigger names um, all the way to competing in the Red Bull uh, freestyling national championships uh, which takes over the, the final third of the film which is made up entirely of um, a continuous footage of Via's performance as he aims to uh, win the championship and go on to represent the US in the world championships. I always think it's uh, lazy criticism to say, particularly with documentaries, that they are good for the fans of um, a subject or a genre or a topic. Uh, but this film really does feel like it has been made for sort of fans and enthusiasts of DJing and, and house music. Um, and, and perhaps Chris Veer himself. There are uh, very long uh, scenes of performing uh, of Veer DJing, uh, for some of his contemporaries DJing as well throughout the film, uh, sort of unbroken performance footage, which really captures the sort of intricate skill um, and excitement and, and ability uh, that Veer displays. It, it, it obviously makes sure anyone can see why um, he is as talented as he is and as, as sort of highly regarded as he is in his field. But some of these scenes do uh, really sort of, of take up a, a lot of time uh, for the film. You know, you're talking several minutes of sort of continuous uh, mixing and freestyle um, a, a number of occasions throughout. Um, it's interesting to see it, obviously, as, as just as performance footage and to sort of uh, capture what DJing really is uh, and also to see how Via has had these abilities for so long throughout his life uh, but for people who aren't as enraptured by by DJing it, it does feel a little over long um, the film could probably have, have cut down quite a lot without losing an awful lot of its its real sort of through line and story that, that people are more likely to become attached onto um, and in, instead includes these four, no doubt for enthusiasts of DJing, who, who do feel like the real core audience, but in terms of that sort of wider appeal and to people who aren't as familiar with the subject, I feel the documentary does uh, do itself a bit of a disservice through the amount of time uh, it spends on some of this footage. And as well as that, the, the sort of epic closing set uh, Via's you know, best efforts to, to enter the World Championships which are presented in their entirety. Um, actually, sort of, you, you don't perhaps capture the, uh, the the true level of how impressive uh, it is that he delivers such a performance for such a long time because we've seen it already a few times through the film. But the film also does brilliantly sort of capture the essence of who uh, Chris Veer is. Um, it, it nails down this this sort of duality of a quiet. Uh, normal guy who who doesn't really seem like he ever wants to be the center of attention is happy with his family uh, who just happens also to be a, a sort of superstar DJ uh, who frequents some of the craziest parties and, and clubs um, that you could ever imagine uh, it, it's it's an interesting portrayal of someone who um, is just a relatively normal person with a normal life and sort of shows that not every documentary needs to be centered around some kind of great tragedy or you know deeply complex character to be uh, overly interesting. Via himself is is 
an interesting person. Um, but but the the sort of life he leads makes the documentary quite a wholesome experience. And while some of the footage, uh, particularly sort of from the past, can can go on a little too long, uh, it is presented brilliantly. Everything looks very crisp. Um, whilst also offering that glimpse into the past, just just from sort of the fashion choices and and things like that 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 people are wearing, um, it's it's wonderfully realised. You can tell that a lot of uh, heart and and soul has been poured into the film, uh, and particularly the the end of the the film, which is at the world champion at the um, the freestyle championship event. Uh, it, it the way it's filmed uh, does really capture the connection Veer has with his audience. Uh, it captures the live experience of the music, which is not an easy thing to do, given that uh, DJ and sort of house music does rely a lot on the live experience. So uh, it's a real credit to the director that that transmits through um, on screen. So all in all, I, I really enjoyed uh, One For All. And I think it is a really, really impressive piece of work. Uh, it, it is wholesome. It's it's quite engaging with its storyline. Uh, it just seems to drag on a little bit too long on some of the performances that will see some of its audience perhaps uh, lose that bit of engagement in places. Uh, but for those who are enthusiasts for DJ and uh, this this will be a, a fantastic watch throughout. And yeah, the the story of Via is presented really well. Um, it, it ends in such a way that I think any viewer will be will be desperate to know the sort of next step, which is always a great sign. Um, and yeah, it will be it'll be a film that sticks with me for quite a while.